All right, so we're gonna read the codes again. All right, and then we're gonna clear this code. I'm gonna read it again. Yeah, what up? All right, so we're back at again with another video. All right, you got a 2006 2008 Nissan J31. This guy, the V6 engine. All right, I believe this is a VQ 2.3. All right, customer complaint is they got a P0021, which is intake solenoid uh, VVT Bank 2. So, you asked if I could check it out for him. All right, um, I came and plugged in my scan tool. You know the usual, they clear the codes, all right? So we don't clear codes until we verify the fix, but it doesn't happen, all right? So what we're gonna do next now, we're gonna check our powers and grounds, make sure all is well. And most likely is the, the solenoid, but normally that happens when you use the wrong uh, the wrong body of oil, the viscosity of the oil, or if you're using the wrong, um, the wrong oil in your vehicle, that tends to clog up these solenoids. So, I'm going to do my pause and ground checks first, and then after we'll be able to determine if we made the right call with this vehicle, right? So, key on engine off, right? Good thing about having a car like this, whatever happens on bank one, you can compare it to bank two, All right? Um, so, what we're going to do first, right? It, we remove the solenoid, the customer decided to go and purchase one. Right, but still we're gonna do our checks before we put it back on to make sure that we get what we need to get. All right, so as I said, this is bank two here, this is bank one, this is carry number two two four six and that's one three five in the back. Alright, so we're gonna do first we're going the helper my boy here, we're gonna check um pin two and we'll hook it up to ground. We supposed to be getting Hold on, let me just set up the meter real quick. All right, this is a jack for the solenoid. We must be getting battery voltage. All right, so right now we're getting battery voltage out of pin two, right? We hooked up to ground, right? Our next thing we could have done is a resistance check, but they, they don't have the solenoid here. Customer decided to go on, which is one. So um, we just doing our checks, as I said. So right now what we're doing is making sure that we get in voltage coming to the solenoid right so what we're going to do so we're going to compare to bank one and see what we get right we could also do our ohm test right to see if the resistance is also um within specs right this you have to do before you start to throw parts but you know customer insists that you're going to purchase his own part so at least we're going to do our due diligence and make sure that the ECU is doing what it's supposed to do. Alright, so we're going hooked up to that's pin 1 is to the side, pin 2 is the next side. What we're getting here, you know, we're getting 1 volt, so that's your command. Next side, supposed to be getting 12 volts. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. That's the ground side. Right. So we're getting battery voltage here, so that's pin 2, and on pin 1, it will be your ground side switch, so put it on pin 1. So pin 1, we're getting 36, 37 millivolts, which so is your ground side switch. So we're going to come back to bank 2, and we're supposed to get that same thing on pin 1. All right, so 29 millivolts, which ain't bad. All right, so... That let me know that I'm getting the same exact thing on bank one, bank two coming from the ECU. Next check we could have done is to make sure that, um, as I said, a resistance check on the unit. So I'm going to set that up so we could do the resistance check on the solenoid and have it a comparison to the one that he's bringing in. Okay, so another test we could do, right, hook on to a battery negative, right? The key is off right now, the ignition. So right now we're just gonna slightly touch pin two, right? We're not sticking it in, we just probing it against nothing, right? Because the key is off. So let's put the key ignition on. 
right so with the ignition on see how bright the light is all right so what we're going to do next right we're going to switch the test light to battery positive right hold on let me switch the key off key off all right so we're going on to pin one i see again the light but it's really let's see it's really dim all right so what pay attention to that light while i put the key on so the key basically with the key on you saw that the light came off right so this is a ground size switch right where the ecu grounds that connector right and we'll ground the solenoid if it was on right so that's a quick test we can do and as i said you can check number one and you check number two right um well sorry there's number two and it's number one you do that before you make the call on the solenoid all right i'm here with my boy chris all right this is his vehicle that he's diagnosing so when we came on the vehicle you noticed that they had on this vvt and they had this jack but someone was looking real funny Right, so we scan for the codes and we're gonna double check to see what was done All right so let's pay attention to this jack when we scan the vehicle we got a p021 um intake bank 2 um dtc so check light is on All right this have this carry this has 119,000 let's say kilometers All right so First thing we're gonna do is check. This is bank one. This is bank. This is bank two. Sorry. This is bank one in the back. This carry the two, four, six coils in front and one, three, five in the back. All right. So as I said, the customer complaint is feeling like a vehicle is rough idling and hard shifting. So I asked if we could check it out for him, right? So first thing we're gonna do is just do a visual inspection, right? When we do the visual inspection, we do our, some tests, check for power and grounds. You know, make sure everything's good, right? Um, another thing is the customer already rent out and replaced this part right here, which is the VVT, right? And plug it in, and it still seems like you're getting is having issues. So, upon full observation, what I've noticed, right? Somebody was in this harness before. If you notice, this carry different color, iron. But also look at the jack. You see that orange part? That's a the weather guard, basically, right? To make sure that the the, you know, the pins don't get wet, right? But this is all the way up, and you're still seeing it. So that means that this connector is not making full contact in there. So that I believe that is the reason why the vehicle is not seeing the the ECU is not seeing this set the solenoid. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we check our connections right we do this wiring thing whatever they got here right and we're gonna replace this jack to make sure that it make proper contact in the inside here right so yeah that's a, that's what's up so good thing about this vehicle is it has two banks so i could compare what i got on number one or number two right as i said the customer already replaced the, the unit so i'm gonna just do a home test on the old one, which I believe is still good, right? But they didn't catch this little thing. And this is why I always practice and tell my other techs to be very observant when vehicles come. They don't go quick to rush in, you know, and decide to change parts, right? You know, pay attention to these little details and that could save you the headache and save the customer money, I guess. So let's do our checks first. Yeah, according to my wiring diagram, right, this is intake bank two, right, so our yellow wire is our signal, our signal wire, and the uh, red slash green, which is this one here, is going to the ground side, right? So what we're going to do, you got to just probably, it's going to cut this, we do our connection, plug it on. Scan for the code, clear it, you know, send it on the way, right? But as I said, we're going to do our chest first, make sure that we're getting power and ground, um, or power and signal coming through the jack, right? So as I said, number one, if I have the jack facing this way, the green, the 
green wire, which is this one that's hooked up to yellow, and the uh, red and green one is number two. So I'm supposed to be getting 12 volts here, and this one I'm getting my signal. Alright, so let me start it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is just recheck this code. Let's read it. Alright, so no DTC. Let's come right back out. Alright, so we're gonna read the codes again. Alright. Then we're going to clear this code. I'm going to read it again to verify if it works or not. Alright, so let's give it a little. No check light on. We're going to call that a fix. So we're going to sum this up as for observation before they make a call, right? So. Last cannon was fired. Till next time, take it easy.